Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a word cloud in Python. The source for this word cloud can be any text. In this example I took the speech of Jeff Bezos and we will create this kind of word cloud here. In order to create the word cloud we will use the Python library called word cloud. However, the library also depends on matplotlib. So before we are starting, let us shortly install those two packages. Head over to your command prompt and in here you can type pip install matplotlib. Uh, your screen might look a little bit different as I have already installed the libraries on my machine. And of course we also need wordcloud, so this will be pip install wordcloud. Alright, here on my desktop I have the text file of the speech from Jeff Bezos, which I found somewhere on Google. So let us turn this text now into a word cloud. To do so, I will create a new Python file in the same folder and call it wordcloud underscore example.py. First, I will install the required libraries. So this will be matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And from wordcloud, we will import wordcloud and stop word. The next step is completely optional, but I will also import sys and os and specify the path to the current directory by using os.change directory and then the current path. Next, we will read the data from the text file. So this will be text is equal to open and in here the name of the text file. So in my case, I call it Jeff Bezos speech.txt. And for the mode, we will use R, so R stands for read. And for encoding, I will use UTF-8, which I think is anyway already the default method, but it doesn't hurt to specify it here. And what we want to do, we want to read the file. Now, there might be some words which might not add that much value to our word cloud. Those words can be excluded. And the package of word cloud comes already with a list of those kinds of words. So let us shortly set the stop words to stop words and then I will print them out. So down here at the bottom now you can see those kind of stop words. It's up to you if you want to include or exclude those words from your word cloud. The list is actually not that long, so if I print out the length, we can see the list includes 192 words. Having said this, we can now specify the settings of our word cloud. So keep in mind, I will just show some of the arguments you can specify. There's actually much, much more we could do. So at the end of this tutorial, I will show you where you can find even more attributes. But for now, we will keep it simple. So I will type WC, it's equal to word cloud. And I will set the background color to white. And as mentioned before, I will use those stop words. And for the height, I will give it 600 pixel. And for the width, I will give it 400 pixels. All right, now we can generate the word cloud. And this is as easy as just typing wc.generate and then the text from the text file. Last but not least, I want to save the word cloud to a file. So this will be wc.toFile and then the name. I will call mine here wordcloud underscore output dot png. And now if we save the file and run the script, we should have our png file in our folder. All right, this was working and here we have now our simple word cloud. As I mentioned, you can specify much, much more attributes for the word cloud to customize it in the way you want. Therefore, I suggest you check out the official documentation which I will also link in the description box down below. Okay guys, I hope you found this really short tutorial useful and see you next time.